This video is sponsored by Noragon, the commercial vehicle data experts. Visit Noragon.com to learn more. What are you doing? Cardio. Why? New Year's resolution starts now. Gotta get started. Gotta get that heart rate up. This is the year. I'm gonna get myself in shape. Does it have to be right now? We've got some work to do. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Can't wait. What got me in the place in the first place? Okay. Look, all right. Whew. Time. All right. Whew. Look at that. <laughs> Ten intensity minutes. All right. And you fuel up with coffee. Yeah, it's an early morning workout. Okay, well that's terrible for you. Maybe you should stick with some water after a workout. I mean, if you want to make sure you can uh, run longer, you're going to have to consider uh, what you're putting into your body. Huh. That kind of sounds like running our trucks. Happy New Year, and welcome to FE's Data Center, the series that aims to make truck data approachable. I'm Tess. And I'm another year older. Why are you being so pessimistic? Look, I'm not pessimistic, I'm realistic. Fact. It's 2023. Fact. I'm gonna be another year older. Fact. So are our trucks. Ah, oh yeah, that's right. And when it comes to engines, the common knowledge is that once they get about three to four years old, the maintenance can cause total cost of ownership equations to slide. Well, the constraints in the supply chain are making it really hard to replace them. So how can we keep them in the best shape possible? The same way we maintain the performance of any truck, through ongoing and preventative maintenance intervals. This means pre-trip inspections, frequent checks, keeping shop software updated to ensure that we are receiving accurate data, and promptly responding to fault codes when they arise. Okay, all great points, uh, but these fault codes are giving me notification fatigue. I mean, they're constantly coming in, like, look, I just, I just got another. I mean, increased connectivity, it's a blessing and a curse. It's great when it comes to staying on top of equipment service needs, but it's so easy to get buried in them. I, which one should I even tackle first? Is there an order? Yeah, okay, so the first step will be to prioritize alerts that we're getting. Red fault codes should come in first, then yellow. Start with mission critical fault codes. This means anything that has to do with the engines. Check engine lights shouldn't be ignored by drivers. If so, the only destination your trucks will be heading is towards catastrophic maintenance issues. A prompt response time and accurate root cause analysis will be crucial for the health and performance of your trucks. Dealing with fault codes may come more regularly as the truck ages, but beyond the check engine light, you'll want to stay on top of any engine fault codes that revolve around coolant levels, coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, or after treatment related faults. Which ones should you anticipate the most of with engines four to five years old? We'll have the pros at Noragon field that question. So top faults for engines that are about four to five years old are uh, component communication and component circuit faults. Uh, things like five and 12 volt common reference sensors, uh, you know, coolant temp, intake, charge air temp, boost pressure, oil pressure, crankcase pressure sensors, those types of things. Um, remote smart actuator communication errors like the VGT actuator or EGR actuators. Um, fuel system electrical performance faults like fuel system pressures or control faults. Um, the injectors themselves, high pressure fuel system components like pumps, valves, and sensors. Um, low pressure fuel system components like filters and separators. Um, and engine related performance faults. Uh, like engine power balance, cylinder contribution, misfires, things like turbo over under boost, and even cooling system uh, issues like coolant temp or cooling fan issues. Uh, top engine faults within the last decade are still very similar. And because of this, it's important, I think, as a tech to be on the lookout for TSBs no matter what you're working on. Uh, many things addressed by TSBs are real fixes, so it's important to reference and follow them if the OE's published one. Maybe with that advice, our trucks can get to be as old as me. Or me. All right, before he gets into this again, uh, we're gonna go ahead and conclude today's episode. As Oprah once said, cheers to a new year and another chance for us to get it right. That's right. We'll see you next time.